This is what a day in our van life looks like in Serbia. We're exploring this incredibly underrated country for a couple of weeks as we make our way back to the UK. Houses in the middle of rivers and more than a few bears to watch out for. This is the day in our life in Serbia. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Guys. Did you sleep well last night? I slept very well last night, thank you. I slept very well until about 5.28 when somebody needed the toilet. <laughs> Good morning guys, we have made it to the west of Serbia. We are parked up just outside Tara National Park. We've actually got a really busy day today and there's quite a few things that we want to see while we're this side of Serbia. So we thought today would be perfect to film a day in the life and take you along with us on our day. But before we leave, we need to have some breakfast, we need to walk the dogs and we're going to show you around where we're parked. We have had this place to ourselves. Guys, all right? Are you all right there? Can you get any closer? Well, we can always go for a walk. Oh, somebody perked up. Go for a. Oh, I saw an ear twitch. A walk? Oh, there we go. There we go. Scout's recall training still in progress. He is getting much, much better. We sometimes just like let go of the lead, so the lead still trails on the floor. But yesterday <laughs> we let him off and he just he caught a scent and he was gone. I think that dog's got a bit of a roaming instinct. <laughs> so if he's not, you know, if there's new smells around, we're having to be very careful. So yes, he's still on the lead, but not hundred percent of the time. Come on, buddy. But yeah, this is where we're parked in like this car park here. It looks like it was a camper van area at some point, but not anymore. And just up here are some really, really cool like ruined cottages. They look like very traditional rural cottages. A bit dilapidated, aren't they? A bit dilapidated, would look amazing if they were restored. It's so cold, that's what the house is saying. There's not much left of it, is there? How cool are these little houses? I'm a bit skeptical about going in. There we go. Really cool little cottages. Look here, you can see there's the basement below. The floor has just completely disappeared. Now it's only about a 20 minute drive. First job of the day is to go to the post office. We have got some stickers to send, and then we need to find a pet shop to get some food for these guys. Go for river. I said, I hope it's for these guys. I know I like the dog biscuits, but I'm not going to eat their food. <laughs> One thing I recently learned from a couple of videos ago is how many people love dog biscuits. As you know, Ben was eating River and Scout's little bone biscuits, and so many people in the comments were like, oh yeah, my kids eat the dog biscuits. Yeah, they're really sweet ones, they're really nice. Do not realize how much of a delicacy dog biscuits were. Go at the river. I always hate driving behind these logging lorries. Just, it's like, asking for a scene for a final destination. 
You got them all? Got stickers. All right, see you in a bit. See you soon. Don't get lost. Bye. Focus on you, hey? Hey, guys. Not a thing. How cool is this? Here comes Jessica. River has not moved. Her focus has not changed. Scout has. All good? Good aid to success. Good aid to success. How was it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Really cool building, like really old wooden. Oh really? I'll yeah. say it looks really old from in there, but. Uh pet shop. Just near where we are, there's a house in the middle of a lake. River. Sorry, there's a house in the middle of a river. It's not as picturesque as I thought it was gonna be. We're literally just next to a building site on the main road, but there is the house on, on the lake. Apparently it was built in like the 50s or 60s by some young lads who wanted to build like a little summer house in the middle of the river on some rocks. And it's been rebuilt over the years and I think now there will always be a house on this like rock in the middle of the river. It looks beautiful, but it is just in the middle of the town on a main road, so you can't really get to it or go. But it is, does look really cool. Yeah, and it smells here as well for some reason. I think it's doing sewage work, so yeah, it doesn't make it very nice. This is Instagram, and then this is the reality. Sometimes it do be like that. So last week we were driving along the Romanian border, along the river, and this week we're driving along a different river, but along the Bosnian border, and Bosnia is literally stone throw away. So that's Bosnia right there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Time for a coffee break. <clears throat> Somebody getting tired? Yeah, I'm really tired today, I don't know why. Is that cool to prep? I don't know if, you, if that's going to be picked up on the camera, but we can hear a call to prayer. Sorry guys. Haven't heard that since Turkey. Who remembers this? What is it? Full moon? Half moon? Half moon. Half moon. Mm. Total eclipse. <laughs> Total eclipse. <laughs> Half moon. Half moon. <laughs> All of it and then say total eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> we left the riverside and climbed back into Tara National Park, winding up a mountainside to find a viewpoint that is hidden away in the middle of bear country. We've seen so many signs for bears. The woods do look like prime bear country, like thick, thick pine forest. Half the adventure is driving on new places and new roads like this because we're from the UK and anyone who's from the UK knows that there you can't deviate far off without being into a main city or main town where you can really get lost in these like wilderness places abroad. I absolutely love it. Love it. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? Yeah, it's beautiful here, isn't it? Is it Tara National Park, is it? Tara National Tara Park. National Park. This is the little car park for the viewpoint. It's actually a spot on park for night. You can sleep here and we have signal, but we've scouted our spot by a lake that we think we might go to. But I mean, this is amazing. You're literally in the middle of the forest and then the viewpoint is a kilometer and a half walk. So much snow still. Guys, do you want to stop pulling on the leads just for two seconds would be really nice. River. River, river. So here is one of the signs for the brown bears saying that this Tara National Park is where you can find the most brown bears in Serbia. Um, there's like 60 they estimate to be around here. They even show you what their paws look like so you can keep an eye out for some paw prints. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to find a bear. My seven year old self would be so happy right now.
they, they, this bloke literally fighting a bear. Wow, beavers last week, fighting bears this week. What else is Serbia gonna throw at us, eh? Just wanted to say thank you for those of you that pointed out that last week we didn't see beavers. The things that were thrown past the van were koi poos, which is still cool because we've never seen a koi poo before, but I don't know many funny jokes about koi poos, unfortunately. What do you think then, babes? It is amazing. I still think my favorite viewpoint was the Vikos Gorge in Greece. That Ooh. was just like, spect I mean, but this is amazing. Look at that. Imagine this on like a hot sunny day. Well, it looks like we arrived at the right time and leaving at the right time because loads of people have just turned up. I think it's a camera crew because there's a big boom mic and there's some cameras and everything. So we're going to get the hell out of here before we get blocked in. Honestly, feel like we're driving through a Hans Christian Andersen book. Driving through Serbia is literally like driving through a fairy tale. Just the little A-frame cabins, the little rustic villages everywhere, pine forests, and right now, snow. Crazy drivers. It's honestly, it is just so, so magical. Where's the lake gone? This is apparently meant to be a big lake. The lake is no more. Oh, what? Not good? Not good, no. So that park up looks like through the trees, like it's a bit of a building site. Well, there's a building and there's a couple of campers already there. It doesn't look that big, so we're going to move on. Okay. To somewhere new. I say we are going to move on. Chess is going to find somewhere new whilst I drive aimlessly around Serbia. No, the lake is meant to be in here. It's meant to be full. It's meant to be a nice turquoise blue lake, but it's not. It's been, yeah, it's actually been like dammed up and blocked off. There you can see, and there's obviously a bridge across. Well, this must be new. Or oh, is that all frozen? It's, yeah, it's just ever, ever so slightly frozen. Wow. Wow, so that's that, and then. So there are some other park ups, but on this side of the drained lake, and uh, not very nice. So I'm trying to convince Chess if we can go all the way back to where we've been for the past like three, four days, because it was perfect. It was a massive open car park, perfect for these guys. Beautiful views. Beautiful views. I think it makes sense. It's 50 minutes away. To be fair, we'd probably end up spending 50 minutes driving around trying to find spaces or places anyway. We might as well drive with some purpose. Okay then. How's that sound? Okay, we can go back there. We really like that place. Really good. <laughs> I really like. I really like it. There we go. Home sweet home. We're back. We're back. Oh my god. I think she's gonna need a clean. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> it has splashed all the way up to the top of the windows. Like, I can't even reach up there. Had a good day out. Tonight is a very boring pasta meal because. I can't be asked to cook anything more and I haven't even put the food away from earlier so I'm not going to cook a gourmet dinner tonight. Mm. I don't think I'm that hungry. <laughs> Cup of tea, popcorn, popcorn for the dogs because it keeps falling out because I've overfilled the bowl. Oh, ah. Damn it! I'm oh, no, it hit me in the head. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it feels good. Tired. I'm really tired. Yeah, it was a big day today. It was a big day. We also don't forget we woke up. We didn't get. We got up at half five because this early. one woke us up. Woke us up. I think someone likes the popcorn that fell on the floor. Have you had popcorn before, Scout? I don't think he has. <laughs> <What did it? laughs> We've also done. Like we've driven like a big circle loop today of Tara National Park. It's and a we beautiful out, national we park. We went out that way, went down to the 
like water and then back up and back around. I've done a big loop of it. Hey. <laughs> Look at this one though. He doesn't know how to eat it, babe. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bit of strange, guy? <laughs> Look at this one though. She is crashed. They are crashed. I think sniffing all those bear scents today and God knows what other animals were in those woods, these two are just loving it. Won't you? Fucking throw this in your mouth. Oh, that was close. Yay! <laughs> Straight to the tonsils. So we are going to put a film on and I think we're going to leave the video there for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Come along with us on a day in the van life in Serbia and join us next week for our last week in Serbia. We're going to be heading up to Belgrade and Novi Sad which should be lots of fun. So we shall catch you guys then. Bye from these two. Bye bye. Bye Scott. See bye you bye. next week guys. Bye. Say bye River. Bye bye. Babe, 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 he's blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's like stones. That's stones. Oh. Is these loose, loose stones keeping that? No, it sounds like it's in the van. Oh, there's it's like a ticking yeah. noise. Oh, like a, a mysterious thing. ticking noise. Well, I would say going out the fire. Snow. Snow. You won't go. Cerberus. Oh, there's a wall. Sat work. Cerberus. Dumbledore. Severus Snape. Dumbledore. Snape. Ron. Snape. Ron. Severus Ron. Snape. Dumbledore. Snape. Ron. Snape. Ron. Severus Ron. Snape. Dumbledore. Snape. Ron. Snape. Ron. Severus Ron. Snape.